Hello everyone and welcome to our Windows Store for hacking the Spotify car thing. Just FYI, this tutorial only removes the need for Spotify Premium. Any of the things like custom features will not be covered in this. Let's get into the tutorial. A few things are needed beforehand. A computer running some version of Windows 10 or 11 will be using Windows 10. The Spotify car thing and a USB cable for it. Disclaimer, I'm not responsible if you break your system. You're gonna be doing this all on your own risk. Now that we have all the hardware we need, let's talk tools and files. This may seem out of order, but I wanna download all of our tools, then we can focus on the files. For tools, we need to download and install the ADB tools. Next, we need to install Python. I've had success using an older version of Python, version of Python 3.1.0. And after this is done, install any version of Git, just make sure it's the 64-bit version. You may need to upgrade it inside the console line, but if it gets that, we can just do that easily. And then lastly, download Zaddig from the website. Just to make it easier, have your shortcuts to these programs either on your desktop or in a folder that we will have our files in. Speaking of files, after you've installed all those programs, we can get to downloading them. Download the Superbird tool, the jailbroken software, and you can download the non-premium web app but you currently don't need it unless you want to get to actually accessing the root directory of the Spotify car thing. Once those are downloaded, open up command prompt, make sure you are opening this up in a administrator mode and type in py-m pip install git plus the website to Pymal boot. Hit the enter key and it's going to clone the entire repository. Now we're gonna do some things to make it easier for us. Go to your downloads folder, unzip everything into a root folder. We're gonna call this the Spotify car thing tutorial and unzip your jailbroken OS into a folder. I will call it jailbroken OS. Inside here, change the following scripts to their new extension, data and settings to be dot extension four and system A and B to be extension two. After that, we can leave it here in the root directory. Now for the important thing. Let's go on with connecting our Spotify car thing. Connect your Spotify car thing to the computer, pressing buttons one and four. If your sound is on, you should hear the connect sound. Quick side note here, if you are going to be using a desktop, make sure you plug straight into the motherboard and not some sort of extension. Also, make sure you plug into a USB 3.0 header or else it will take quite some time to back up and dump these files. After a few seconds, you can let go and the screen should remain black. You can check this by going to device manager it will have an unknown device called GX chip. If you don't see it there, that's okay. Just launch Zaddig, hit options, hit list all devices, hit this drop down if it's not at the top and hit GX chip. We want to install libusbk. You might have to cycle through this until you find libusbk. Hit the replace driver button that will be here and let it run its course. And that should be it for prepping our Spotify car thing. Now let's get into the actual device hacking. Now the next process is almost identical to our Linux tutorial. Open up a command prompt as an administrator and cd into our superbird tool and cd into that path to your file now that we're in the file path type in py period slash superbird underscore tool dot py dash dash find underscore device now it has found our device booted into usb mode now that we've held it buttons one and four if you don't get this just go ahead and unplug it Hold buttons one and four, plug it back in. Sometimes after reinstalling the USB driver, it just needs a power cycle. Next, we're gonna enable USB burn mode. Type in py period slash superbird underscore tool dot py dash dash. Now you can either do burn mode or enable burn. Enable burn mode will have it. So every time we hold button four down, when we plug it in, it will automatically enable burn mode. Regular burn mode will just have it. So we have to enable that script every time. We're gonna make it easier and just type in enable underscore burn underscore mode. Hit enter and everything should write to the Spotify car thing. Now the device should auto reboot as you heard it unplug and plug back in. Now the screen should still remain black. We can check this out again by just typing in superbird tool find device and see that our device is actually booted into USB burn mode. Before we back up RS, let's disable that charger check. Run py period slash superbird tool dash dash disable charger check. Hit the enter key. Now we won't have that annoying charger check every time it boots up, as well as disabled in our backed up OS. 
Speaking of backup, we can do a file dump of our stock OS if we want. We can always just grab that stock OS from the mega link, but that's just an option. If you don't want to, you can skip to the times section on screen. But if you want to run py period slash superbird tool dash dash dump device, followed by where you want the OS to actually dump out. I will create a new folder inside our hack tutorial called OS backup, copy that directory and paste it right after dump device. You can do this by hitting the right click and then hit the enter key. Now, this is going to take a while. It should take anywhere from five to 15 minutes. Take the time, do anything else, maybe get a snack. But again, this will take some time to back up to that OS backup folder. Once the backup is complete, run py period slash superbird underscore tool dot py dash dash find device. Just want to make sure that we're still in USB burning mode. Now let's restore the device with that custom OS. Run py period slash superbird underscore tool dash dash restore underscore device and then the file path to your OS. Depending on the USB port you use, this will take roughly 15 minutes but it may take longer than that. Take the time to do anything else, maybe go play some video games, but again, this will take a while. And that's really it. Just disconnect and reconnect to a power source and you're good to go. If that's all you really want, you can go ahead and skip to the timestamp on screen. But if you actually want to get into the Spotify card things root directory, let's check it out. Okay, CD into your Superbird main folder, then type in, plug the device into your computer, not holding any buttons, type in py period slash superbird underscore tool dash dash find device. It's going to say no device is found, which is perfectly fine. Then CD into our ADB tools, which is our platform tools, type in ADB devices, should list our one, two, three, four, five, six device, which is our Spotify card thing. Then just type in ADB shell. And now we are in this ADB shell. Similar to Linux commands, typing in ls should list out a directory. Typing in install will bring us up our BusyBox installer. Now again, just like our Linux tutorial, I've yet to figure out actually how to install specific things onto the Spotify car thing through the BusyBox installer, but have at it. Good luck. Let me down in the comment section below if you're able to do so. Now, if you want to get out of this, just type in exit and that's it. Now there is one final thing. I want to warn you about when using this hacked OS, it can be a little bit buggy with its connection when you unplug it for periods of time. I've noticed this, but your mileage may vary. Sometimes you do have to repair it. You can do this by forgetting the Spotify car thing in your Bluetooth settings and on the Spotify car thing, just repair to the device. And that concludes our hacking tutorial for the Spotify car thing using Windows. Comment down below if you have any questions or any troubles. Links are also down in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing if you found this tutorial helpful, and I'll see you all in the next one.